Yeah, this is a follow-up video I did a little while ago on the batteries. Here's my uh, battery hold downs, and as you can see, if you look closely, there was only like two bolts. There's one of them. And that's what the one that was looking, uh, that was still holding on. That one had broken loose. All of these other ones you can see are worn down. And, uh, oh, there's the other one there. So, two bolts out of all these bolts is all that was holding my batteries, and then that one had broken loose. So, oh, and do you think this is a problem? That's one of the battery uh, connectors that was on the uh, right side, the passenger side. And uh, it had just, it was still in there, but when I went to pull it off, it just fell right off. So, you can see it was crimped, if you can see it. But, uh, it just pulled right out, so it was just laying. Of course, it's so short, and it doesn't really move much, but it was just laying. So, uh, you know, the batteries are moving around. Let's look at it that way. And that had wiggled loose. So I wasn't making very good contact enough, but uh, obviously it kills your amperage. So here's what the batteries look like. Okay. Now here's what it looks like inside. And you can see, uh, oh well, there's a lot of junk trapped up under those trays because those trays here's one of them laying here where pretty much you can see they're rusted through in places like uh, the edge and so forth and then right there is a hole right there there's an actual hole in it so it was uh, definitely problematic I'm not sure what the bolt is for Anyway, so that's metal, and then they had this plastic tray which sat on top of it. Kind of keep some of the corrosion in there, but then the corrosion basically. So, anyway, right. so I was saying earlier is that this number one of these pieces I'll cut these out but this has got to go as well because uh, the bad the other batteries are going to have to sit down about the same uh, distance as the bottom of that plastic uh, skid plate so probably we'll just cut that and then move that piece uh, forward actually there's another one up there in the forward so I'm not sure I uh, may actually just uh, cut it out and then uh, add something to the very bottom uh, it doesn't stick down too far. These pieces will have to go, both of those, because the bottom of these batteries is going to be right here. So, uh, to keep from hitting up here on the top, they're a lot longer, a lot more powerful, but, uh, and then, uh, so they'll have one lengthwise, one lengthwise, and then one here, and then one here. And actually, they won't stick out anywhere near as far as the originals, which came all the way out, but uh, these won't come out so far. So, uh, like I said, I'm not sure how it'll tie back together, but we'll figure that out uh, once we get the new batteries uh, mocked up. And then uh, get the old rails all cut out, and then maybe uh, we'll have to add a brace. But I've already calculated uh, putting a... Uh, maybe a one by two from here up to the and tying this rail up to the rail above and then coming off at an angle somehow to give a, a brace to the outside and then that will tie into here as well so anyway that's kind of what it looks like so uh, we're inside wiring the uh, I'll do another one on the inside and show the uh, 48 volt wire uh, charging system. So I'm doing a DC charging system off my solar. And so that's the other part of the project. And basically there'll be some wires. And I think uh, we're just gonna come through these little holes right here. And then my uh, charging cable is just gonna be right here. 
and then uh, I'll just hook it into a uh, charge controller, an Outback charge controller, and charge it right off uh, half of my solar panels. So that's the plan. When we get that a little bit farther along, I'll go ahead and do a video on that. All right, thanks for watching.